you guys thank you so much for joining me today now, as you can see from the title this is a lip swatch video now there's a new player in the liquid lipstick market and that player is Dior these are called the Rouge Dior liquid that's it just Rouge Dior liquid and this is a brand new product by Dior um, I think you can uh, find these on Dior's website and you can purchase them on Dior's website as well and Sephora. From what I saw, I don't think you can find these anywhere else, at least for now. And I bought mine at Sephora. Now, on Sephora, it doesn't say anything about being limited edition or online exclusive. It just says new. So I think you might find these in stores. I don't know if you can find them now or maybe in, uh, in the near future. I'm not sure, but it just says new on Sephora's website. Um... And there's not a lot of information here. It just says liquid lipstick in multiple languages here. <laughs> and these are made in France. And you get 6 ml of product here. And uh, let me quickly double check how much I paid for each. Uh, each retails for $35. Yep, that is a lot. Um, you know, it is like a designer brand. It is Dio. So you, you are paying a lot of money for the name itself. So this is $35. You get 6 ml of product. That's 0.2 fluid ounce of product. And yeah, and these are made in France. And this is the box that it came in. Like a very midnight navy blue kind of a beautiful box. And that's it. Um, now there are like, uh, the shade range is actually quite good. There are 28 shades in total guys. And there are like three different finishes. There is matte finish, there's satin finish, and there's metallic finish. I think you have 17 shades in matte finishes. And then um, six shades in satin finish. And then four, sorry, not four, five shades in the metallic finish. So the, uh, I think you have the least number of shades in the metallic finish and the most number of shades in matte finishes. So I wanted, initially I wanted to buy two shades in each um, finish, but then I added the shades that I wanted and then I took a look at the total. Mind you, not the grand total. I just took a look at the subtotal and it was like... <laughs> I got a little scared and I actually took a step back and so I didn't buy end up buying six shades you know two in each finish I bought five shades I, I took one off the cut uh, I think I uh, took like a very metallic brown color so I only have one metallic shade to show you guys the and I have two mattes and two satin so these are the shades uh, I mean this is the actual packaging this reminds me so much of NARS power matte pigment packaging you know I actually I just scrolled through Sephora's um, web page and I mistook these for NARS's liquid lipstick power matte uh, pigment lip pigment uh, lipstick and I just scrolled through it and just ignored them but I, I think I noticed these only like third time around so yeah anyways let's look at the packaging this is the packaging. It's actually really beautiful in person. At least it looks very reflective at all with all these uh, triangular cuts. And uh, what else? It actually, it's there's literally nothing here, nothing written anywhere. And then here it says CD Christian Dior. And then at the bottom you have the sticker which says the number and then actually just has a number, right? Or oh. oh name is there as well you have the number and the shade name and then where it's been made made in france and the amount of product you get which is 6 ml yeah that's it so uh let's look at the applicator um this is like uh you know i think doe foot applicator right this has like a slight slant and then there's like a a small opening here maybe um, where it like collects product and so that when you're applying I think more product comes out maybe that's why you have like a small opening here so it does have like an opening here so that's the applicator and yeah let's start with um, the satin finish where are you yes these two oh, this is a matte finish because I wanted to start with my least favorite and uh, so let's start with the satin finish and you do have like a small uh, you know transparent part of the packaging this is not a sticker so what you see here is the actual color so it is like an accurate uh, it's not a representation I, you just see the uh, actual product itself through here so that's nice as well this is what uh, reminded me of uh, Nas's packaging Nas's power matte 
pearl matte pigment packaging uh, it also had like a small transparent part of the packaging here where you can like see the product mm, what else which one shall we shall i swatch first let's do versatile versatile is like a very coral kind of a product let's do the swatches and then i'll tell you guys the form talk to you guys about the formula and everything i always usually start talking when i'm swatching just i just tell you share with you guys then and there about my thoughts on the product just otherwise i would like forget uh, or it will just get overlooked so anyways let's swatch this and as you can see it is not opaque not like crazy pigmented but there are some products which kind of even out so you guys will see for yourselves how it looks once I swatch it. And before I forget, this has a rose scent. Uh, it is actually, you can smell it definitely. It's not very subtle. Now, what, after a few, say, minutes, say 30 minutes or so, the scent kind of is not that strong. But when you, if you really want to like sniff your lips, like if you really do that, you can smell it. So, but it's not as strong as when you're first applying it. And yeah, this is how it looks after application. And as you can see, it's not very pigmented at all. You can definitely see my lip color peeking through. And once it, um, it's starting to set. And by the way, this is not a transfer proof liquid lipstick. It's some, it's like those satin kind of, um, finish not sad finish though the finish it, it does have like three different finishes but these are not the transfer proof variety um it does transfer so as you can see it is actually starting to set and let's do a kiss test and this being a uh, already a uh, semi opaque i wouldn't even call it some semi, semi sheer kind of a thing as it transfers you actually see, you hardly have product left here so that's something to note as well i wanted to show you guys then and there because i might forget <laughs> so yeah so that's a coral shade by the way and that is called uh, versatile this is versatile and then let's do fren frenetic frenetic which is like a pinky red pinky red let's take this off first This is slightly on the pigmented side, probably because it's a darker color, because coral definitely is lighter than this. But still, you can see my lip color peeking through over here and here. So yeah, this is a uh, frenetic. It's spelled F-R-E-N-E-T-I-C, frenetic. So that is the pinky red color, as you can see. This is the coral shade, which is called Versatile. And then let's move on to the matte finish. I have two matte finishes, which is a very dark burgundy kind of a shade, which is called Hectic. Wait, this is not a good swatch, but... Uh, this is actually a good color. <laughs> Sorry about the swatch, but it is like quite a good color. Out of the shades that I picked up, this is definitely good. Um, and this is the same case. Um, if you do a kiss test, there's a lot of transfer. Let's do it again, maybe, to show you guys. Now it's already set. Up. And do you see a lot of transfer? So although this is slightly on the more pigmented side, it's not as bad as the coral shade, but definitely there's not much left on my lips, as you can see. So that's why I said initially I'm not a big fan of the satin finish. So let's take this off.
And as you can see, this is um, completely pigmented, fully opaque uh, lipstick. Now, to be honest, once the matte finish lipsticks set, I don't feel that they look like a matte finish. I feel it's more of a satin finish, honestly. And the satin finish looks like a very um, sheer satin finish lipstick. I feel both do have the satin finish has like a satin finish lip uh, finish definitely but it's on the sheerer side whereas the uh, matte uh, lipstick has a satin finish which is uh, fully opaque but I do have another matte finish um, lipstick to show you guys because I said I picked up two matte finishes and that is nowhere close to this that is not that pigmented I know there's there are a lot of ifs and buts but um, We'll talk about that in the in the end. And this is Shock. This is like a very hot pink shade. I I don't know what I was thinking. I think it it was described differently. That's why I picked up the shade because this is quite light on my skin. Um, and oh yeah, let's do the kiss test with the matte finish. And since this is fully pigmented, this definitely actually leaves. Although the tra there is transfer. It leaves a lot of pigment still on the lips. So that's one test. Let's do two and three. So do you see there is still a lot of pigment on my lips? So yeah, that's why I said this is a really good shade. But um, let me show you the next shade and then you'll be like, it's nowhere similar to this shade, the burgundy shade. So this is shock. This is also a matte. Oh, I've already swatched that. Uh, I'm swatched that. As you can see, there. Uh, it it's the 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 coverage is very similar to the satin finish coverage if you remember um there are areas where you can see my lips come lip color peeking through and so yeah this is not as opaque as the burgundy shade and since it's not uh completely pigmented again when you do the kiss test there's not much left behind to be honest so my conclusion honestly i feel that the matte finish is not that consistent the shades in the matte finish is not that consistent because i picked up like a very dark shade and then a very light shade and this is not as pigmented as opaque as this so yeah it starts setting fairly quickly the shades are not streaky but uh no, it's just a matter of opacity and then finally, this is my most favorite out of the lot. The metallic is, I really wish I could have like uh, bought one more. So that is the beautiful, stunning, beautiful shade. I don't know how exactly to, to describe it. Maybe rust color. It is a rust color, right? Yeah, it is a rust color. It's a stunning color, completely opaque. There's no question about it. Yeah, that is a beautiful rust color. Honestly, I feel this is a um, unique shade. I've never seen a shade like this before. Uh, it's usually like a reddish uh, orange or like just a, a true red or a very deep red or a burgundy red, but a rust color I've never seen before. So this is the shade Rockin' Metal. Rock and Metal, that's the shade uh, name, and the number is 751. So this is, as you can see, is completely opaque, but I have, on, there are five shades in total in the metallic finish, but I have only one um, among them. So, yeah. So the, this shade that I pick is completely opaque, and it lasts beautifully on the li lips. It There is obviously transfer, because this is not a transfer-proof liquid lipstick. There is transfer, but it still there is a ton of pigment left on left on the on your lips so yeah uh these are the swatches these are the shades that i picked up 
So let's talk about the formula. Now, as I've been mentioning multiple times in the video, this is not a transfer proof liquid lipstick. There is definitely transfer, but honestly, guys, I feel there's so much inconsistency in this collection. Uh, for example, the satin finish, and there are six shades in total in the satin finish, and I have two out of the six shades, uh, and both are on the sheer side, and the lasting power is not that good at all. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed and $35 honestly is pointless on this finish at least for me. Uh, the satin finishes are not good. Uh, if you're really looking for that kind of a like a semi-opaque kind of transfer, not uh, non-transfer proof kind of a liquid lipstick, there are plenty of uh, you know uh, products like that in the market already and I don't feel personally feel you do not need to spend $35 but that's your prerogative if you really want to spend $35 and that amount is, you know, it's something that you you, uh, uh, you have the funds at your disposal, then it's it's just your, um, your decision. But personally, for me, I just, I find it pointless to spend $35 on the satin finish because both the shades that I picked up are quite consistent in the opacity, meaning they are on sheer side. And uh, so um, the pigment, I feel, uh, just transfers away, you know, when you like eat or drink and there's not much left behind on, on your lips. So satin finish, it's a no for me. Now matte finish, I was happy when I first tried the burgundy shade, but when I tried the pink shade, I was truly disappointed, guys, because I uh, this like shows inconsistency. Like the satin finish at least is consistent, but I just don't like um, the... Uh, when it comes to opacity i just don't like these uh this this finish but a matte finish is actually good when the opacity is, is fully opaque um but as i said there is inconsistency the pink is actually very similar in opacity with the satin finish it is uh shears it's on the sheer side and like i said when you like eat and drink there's hardly anything left left on your lips but the fully opaque ones on in the matte finish, the burgundy shade is, is beautiful. It lasts beautifully on your lips. So I feel the matte finish again is not that consistent. So probably just, uh, I'm not going to guess because I can't be sure because there are 17 shades in the matte finish. So I have just two and I can't like make a come to a conclusion saying that the darker shades are probably more opaque and the lighter shades are not so opaque. I could be very wrong because there are 17 shades in total so um, at least the shades that I picked is not consistent um, finally the metallic shade yes I do have only one out of the five shades so uh, but this shade is fantastic guys if you really really want if you are a red color lover this is very very muted but so so like very unique and so I feel sexy and I think if you um, have funds at your disposal, this would be like a beautiful shade to splurge on because it's not very frosty as you can see. It does reflect the light in a very uh, slight manner, but it's not very frosty and it lasts like the whole day. Um, so this is the most favorite of the lot and I highly recommend. Uh, if you're really interested, do try the uh, the metallic finish but they do have only five shades in total so yeah that's my review guys um i think i've uh, covered everything that i wanted to say all in all uh satin finish is not my favorite and the matte finish is not consistent definitely i can tell you guys are not consistent uh but i don't know which kind of shades are opaque and which kind of shades are not that's the problem here but the shades that i picked up definitely both are hang on let me turn towards the right side both are like this is completely opaque and lasts really really long and this is doesn't so uh i think probably it's a hit or miss and the metallic shade that i picked up is fabulous fantastic uh, like it's truly beautiful i think this is a very unique shade um it would be great if there are like tentalia can come up with dupes with this shade <laughs> It would be truly helpful for everyone who can't spend like $35 on a lip product. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and please give this video a thumbs up, a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe. Bye.